Right guys, welcome down to St. George's Hill and the beautiful green course. I'm here with Rick Shields and we are amazing. I'm loving this place. having an amazing time so far. We've already played uh, the blue, was it this morning? I 100% watched that video as well. That was one of my favorite videos that are on the channel. Yeah, don't bother. Terrible static all the way through the audio. You'll, you'll hate it. <laughs> I hope there's not. <laughs> so, uh, first hole here is a 351 yarder, but it's a big massive dog leg up to the right. Trees. Did it finish at 2.30? It started at 2.30, so it's just a 4-iron or a 3-iron just laying into the centre of the fairway. Pin is all the way up here. A genuine fade. A bit too much. Not sure. I, think, I mean, the, the fairway continues around in that way, so... A little bit too much fade. I might be all right. rough on the right. So we're playing match play, no gimmies. Match play, no gimme. So this is our way of still vlogging, but still competing, ready for uh, open qualifying in a few weeks. And I certainly think that we, this... We've uh, not had any actual kind of knee knockers on that front nine, did we? No, not really. You know, to actually take it take it forward, so... To be fair, after yesterday, it's uh, <laughs> playing with Lou Donald and Chris Wood in front of that crowd. Oh, yeah. Knee knockers don't exist anymore, do they? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Look at this in. weather oh, now. That fade round. I love the alignment uh, stripes on the tee as well. Very useful, aren't they? Have you taken three or four? That's perfect, I guess. Yeah, that was a three. So. Yeah, I, I hit four with that line. P at three. Should be perfect. Right Did you show everyone the clubhouse way. a second ago? Oh my goodness. Even better inside. That's a, That's a proper castle on the hill. Right, let's crack on. Nine holes, match play, no gimmies. There's a real contrast between the two nines we've played so far, I think. This is going to be much shorter, much tighter, and a bit fiddlier. So good training for our iron play, I think. I'm not yeah, sure how was, many. That was an iron too little or not far enough left. Yeah, so how far we got left in? 114. 114. I'm just slightly further on it. One more. One more club. Gap wedge. We need a gap. The wind's just starting to bluster up there, but I don't think it's going to affect it. No. The trick, to, I think, I don't know what the pin's doing, but it's been firm, haven't it, on the first bounce? Yeah. Not as much. the rough as well. Not as much rip back. Oh, wow. Well, it's come out well left. Was that user error? That just oh, seemed, time user error, yeah. just I was, seemed a bit weird. I've been trying to work on less wrists. Oh, uh, was that you, Jason Day, that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 95. Oh, 97. We're getting good at this game. Well, just paced it out from my. <laughs> Took him out. Oh. I'm going to try the same thing, just hopefully straight. A little gap wedge, a little half a swing. I've had to change my favourite shot, mate. I can't hit him half my wedge hundred yards anymore. Oh my god. Gotta go to a gap wedge. Looks on it. Yeah. Great, so. These greens do feel slightly softer. Mine is just pitched there, only rolled out to there. That would have got another four or five feet on the first nine this morning. Rick just finished off left hand side of the green here. Just a little bump onto the green. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna definitely feel softer like it's been watered. It is a little bit downhill there, though. I think it's gonna run out nicely. I don't think it's gonna grab too much. But we will see. So that looks just like a 60. I was a bit of a help, helper, that wasn't it, that one? Didn't ever fancy it. Still me, is it? Yeah, we need to... Uh... Might nearly double hit that. Well, listen, if you, if you don't get it there with the first hit, you get it there with the second. Ah, oh, Terrible. Well, if there's something I've learned on the, uh, on the first nine holes we played is that up against it, this is where 
This putter's been working absolutely wonderfully today. How do you see this one? Just off the right. Not a lot. Yeah, on the first, uh, first nine hole, the old two brilliant putts actually. Is it going to be three? Is it going to be three? Oh, just a wee bit too firm. A bit right of a line. On this first hole. Oh, sorry. I've had a bit of a nightmare yeah. first hole actually. Too short off the tee. Terrible wedge shot. Duff chip. Over hit putt. Blacktail warming up, but we've just had nine. <laughs> I'm cooling down. <laughs> nice day though, isn't it? It is. It's getting too nice now. It's that little bit too nice. Put me out of my misery, at least make birdie. Yeah, let me give it a go. Slightly off the left. Not masses, I don't think. Yeah, I'm glad you did that. Me too, guys. <laughs> the dragon takes a one up lead right guys we are now down to the second hole it's a par three and a hell of a hole now i'll start playing a bit a little bit better now because on the first hole you might have just heard him off camera we had a guest and that, that certain guest is uh the member here who gets us on to play and uh for some reason so weird i'm so nervous when i'm playing in front of him so, he's, he's so strange I was like a guaranteed five, maybe even a six on that hole. So he's now gone, thankfully. I hope he never returns. From this point, I'll go seven under. Thanks for having us down though, Jim. Yeah. He knows, he knows who we're talking about. 205. Oh, okay. 205, par three, and what? Honestly, this is a beauty. Look at that. Little uh, plateaued green. I think with low teams so far, I'm going to hit... I'm going to hit a five iron. Just try and get it in and around the front of the green. So although that first green was softer, you don't imagine them being all much no. softer, can you? So to be fair, that, that was judging it on a really well struck wedge shot. So it was going to stop pretty quick. <clears throat> Are you hitting five? Yeah, Four, five. five. Okay. Looks like the green goes a little bit that way. You just don't want to miss this left, I guess, do you? No. No, you do not. No, you don't want to miss it left. In the bunker. In the bunker. That's twice now we've said that. Maybe we need to work some psychology ideas around that. A couple of pulls today when I didn't want them. Oh dear. Well, it's stopped on the bank, so I don't think I'm going to be able to see any of the pin, but. It's better than uh, going all the way down to the bottom five as well. Yeah, I think it's... When Dad's picked up, you've definitely got I, enough club there. Yeah, I would pitch level with the pin. It was a slight pull, so you imagine a nice normal strike would pitch around the front. Oh, such a pretty hole. That looks amazing. Looks amazingly good. What a great shot. See, my guy goes. As soon as he goes. I'm back. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Prepare yourself. Okay, so we get up to this green and what a beautiful little green it is. Very round in circle shape. And I am just there for the opportunity for birdie. And Pete, that's where we just hit from. And Pete's just down. Where no. Can't, no, uh, can't no help but smiling hitting into that kind of little scenery there. Oh yeah. That oh, does look nice. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best place to shoot it from, probably just from here. Lots of loft and flip it up there. Yeah, just a 60 degree. I'm gonna try and land it about halfway. I do struggle a little bit where I can't see the bottom of the pin, so. To try and judge the distance. Yeah, I'm just gonna trust it. 
sort of point visualised in my mind, so I'll get up there. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit. No, it was. <laughs> yeah. They are yeah. difficult, aren't they? Uh, no, I struggle. I struggle with that shot more than I should do. I struggle with it more than I should do, definitely. But also, typically, when you've got a blind shot into the flag like that, you're on a on an up slope as well. Yeah. Which plays with your distance control. Anyway. Yeah. It's just. Well, it's just not quite good enough that at the moment. So it's something to something to work on. To be fair, I should have maybe come up here a little bit because it is uphill there as well. So I think yours is going to move from the oh, actually, yeah. from the right. From the right. Shouldn't really say somewhere when someone's in the middle of a reef. <laughs> right, you, know, you know what side of the hole I'm on. What? Yeah, what yeah. So left to right, put down the hill for Rick here. Or right to right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get your tone of sarcasm then, Peter. To be fair, it, it's starting to blend into my normal voice. I've got to be careful. I'm going to lose a lot of friends. <laughs> so off the right. Come on, nice birdie. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, good for pace. Just need a little bit just higher than it. I think it was just slow on speed, if I'm honest. I think if the speed would have been high. The ball would have stayed high. Yeah. And dropped. It would all have been high. So we're playing, um, you might have heard on the hub, match play no gimmies. Getting used to holding the short putts. This has got to drop for the half. I don't think there's a... Uh... I don't think there's much to it, to be honest. Whack it. Whack it straight up the hill, inside right, if anything. But... Whack it straight up the hill. Whack it straight up St George's Hill. You know, there's been a multiple amounts of accents going on today, Pete, on this hole. Not even just today, just literally on this hole. <laughs> You've got American Yorkshire. Um, it's pretty much the ones you do, actually. Sarcastic Prestonian. Gave it a chance. Gave it a chance. Back to all square after two. You'll be, you'll be texting... Uh, You'll be texting our man to get back yeah, out there, get won't back you? Here. <laughs> get back here right now. <laughs> Come and put him off again. <laughs> back to all square. Third hole here. It's 314 yards. But we're not entirely sure where the pin is. The fairway is there. It looks like there's a gap at the top. Very, very tight. So we're just going to go with two iron. I'm going to... I don't know. Just keep my powder dry for a minute. Keep what? Keep my powder dry. It's one of those where I think, it, yeah, I'm guessing it just bottlenecks. I can just hit a little faded two iron down there. Mm, it's not tight, would you? Get up onto the fairway. It's just held left, actually, that one. Yeah, it's okay. Just depends what, what the access to the green's like with that tree. Hopefully it goes to the right than that. A little bit left, isn't it? I'm gonna... Yeah, I wanted it just to move a little bit more right in the air. Pete's gonna go driver, of course. I'm sure this chaffee's uh, quite learned the, the right way to drive, does she? No, I think it was a big, uh, a big truck coming. That might be why. Someone's broken down. We oh. could break down on this estate and would need rescuing. So, third hole, 314, par four. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go at that tree. The side face. Yeah. That's the plan. 
<clears throat> That's a mighty pan, plan as well. Yeah, good ball. Very good. Well, I would... It's bang on where I wanted to hit it. It's just... If it's looking, the, the green is up there somewhere. Yeah, nice shot. Yep. Really beautiful colours this time of year. And Rick's actually got himself in with a decent chance, just going... Shot. Yeah. I was happy with the t-shirt. She's just like, oh no, that's dead. You scratched now, by the way. Oh, right, okay. You've actually hit the green, bad looks things, Pete. Yeah, I think I might have just crept onto the front, which, I mean, the pin was where I predicted. I'm a, I'm a predictive golfer. That's, uh, that's what they call me. This guy just whizzed past and he's doing some stuff, stuff for shot. Trip. Um, Stroke saver. saver. <sighs> what are you going in with? 107 now. I'm going to hit a little gap. A little gap. I need to get better from this range, sir. I've had about eight of these so far today. I've not made a birdie once. Look at it this way. You've had eight practice shots. The one where I break the flag. Okay. Do you think you're thinking a little bit too much about it with the... Yeah. You think a little bit too much going through your head? Yeah, definitely. It looked like... A, I'm honest with you, Pete. It looked like an uber-controlled swing that one. I just hate hitting those wedge shots long. So I'm just doing everything yeah. I can to really mess it up any other way. <laughs> <laughs> I used to just hit it long and straight, but now I hit it right, I hit it left, I hit it short. Not long, though. <laughs> the variety. <laughs> So yeah, my tee shot crept pretty much from middle. But I, I'm going to make a bold prediction and say on your third shot, you're going to be all the way. Well, I'm going to be definitely closer. <laughs> to be fair, we, I think we both actually could do with a bit of a, a bit of water and a bit of coffee and a bit of food. We're starting to lag a little bit. We had a very, very late night editing last night, very early start. Need to take some deep breaths, compose ourselves, try and find some food. I don't think rhododendrons are edible. Anyway, down and from the right for a birdie. Don't think it's going to break that much. I might be wrong though. I think I am wrong. Well, that's broken more. Yeah, very nice putt. I didn't quite see that much break on that one though. I did right out here as well, I just didn't quite. Fully, 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 fully commit. Yeah, I'll put it down. First one the hole takes the hole. Thanks for watching. Two up. Maybe one up, yeah. <laughs> actually got two up. I was like, wow. <laughs> that was a strong par, that. <laughs> Some pars are better than others. Right, eagle opportunity now with Pete after his good tee shot. Trusted his line. If you played here again, would you hit driver? Pretty tight. Oh. It's pretty tight. You know what? I'm, I'd hit it until it went wrong, and I'd be like, it was always, always too hard, always too hard. Right, two putts to win the hole. But really, we all want to see one putt. Nothing makes a thumbnail like an eagle. Got some lovely kind of slow pan, slow uh, pan on that. Good putt. Sorry, I was, I was like really concerned on my camera work and didn't compliment you on the putt. Um, this to win the hole, we are playing no gimmies. This is probably the first tester to win the hole, really, that we've seen. Tester. Ha! <laughs> ha! Don't be so insulting. Right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this course while I got the beautiful St. George yourself. Uh, there, was no, very, there was no halves on that three holes. It's a very different nine, this, yeah. already. So much short, so much tighter, but beautiful. So, guys, thanks for watching.
to enjoy yourself. Thanks for coming down. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go over to Rick and subscribe. Watch all the videos. I don't know why you're laughing. I'm laughing at you because you you said thanks for coming down, St George's Hill. <laughs> it was already here, mate. <laughs> we'll see you soon.